Hello, welcome to Garden Chronicles. Today I would like to talk about this particular plant known as uh, Alocasia sarawakensis, also known as Yucatan Princess. I, I actually found this particular plant sold in a local nursery and I would like to do some thoughts on, on how to care for this plant. As you can see here, the medium that has been used here is more like a clay soil uh, and you can say that it has strong similarities with the colocasia species where it can actually stand in the water compared to other alocasia species. Because of the aquatic nature, the leaf tend to become more on a giant size and rarely do they go into a dormancy state. I can say that it does have another similarities where it has something of a blue taro uh, known as a xanthosma wirelessly where the stem is in a dark maroon with where the black where the stem has a black uh, features. Also if you can notice the leaves appear to have a corrugated uh, kind of feature similar to the colocasia black reaper. So in a way most of this particular plant have to happens to have very uh, similar uh, characteristics in their nature. I also found that there is another species known as Alocasia plumbia nigra and have almost the same or if not very similar features and I think that is endemic to Indonesia where Sarawak Kenis is actually from Sarawak but somehow I find that uh, I believe both plants are actually the same plants may have slight variant but uh, as far as I'm concerned uh, actually both of the plants are actually interchangeably featured as the same plant. Another feature that I've noticed is that uh, unlike most alocasia that requires to be in bright shade this particular one can actually stand in hot direct sunlight also in bright shaded area so it's quite a versatile plant another thing that I've also noticed is that uh, this particular leaf tend to have their lobes overlapping with each other which I find is slightly unique because most of the time I find that most alocasia are actually singular leaf without any uh, uh, lobes overlapping so uh, this is something which I find that it actually uh, I one of the characteristics is that it actually drains out the rainwater and so this actually helps the leaf from not getting a, a water ret retention on them However, I would like to make an emphasis on pest control on this particular plant, especially mealy block and uh, spider mite tend to love to attack this plant. So daily inspection and weekly application of pesticide actually goes in a long way to protect this plant from uh, bad attack. So anyway, I would like to conclude my short video here on how, how I care for this particular plant and uh, if you have any questions, do put in a comment below and uh, if possible, do click like and subscribe my channel and uh, I would like to hear from you soon. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye.